The breast implant trend is deflating for the first time in decades. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons says tens of thousands of women are choosing smaller, more comfortable implants, even when it requires going back under the knife. Well, the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about this trend and why this move towards downsizing, Beth. And Deidre and Tom, I think it is because women sort of grow up and they change over time and maybe they don't want the same larger breasts at 40 that they chose back in their 20s. And Natalie Benestante is a good example of this trend. She's had four breast procedures to try to get the athletic, more comfortable breasts she really wants. Natalie Benestante no longer believes bigger is better. She's gone from a double D to a small C after initially getting breast implants that she was happy with 20 years ago. It really boosted my confidence and I felt really good about myself. I've always been shapely, athletic, but I, I somewhat felt a little unproportioned um, up top, I guess you would say. Um, so I think it really gave me a little more confidence. I was more balanced out, felt more proportion. But when Natalie had her first child, things changed. Probably six months after having my baby, I really saw a change in my, my implants at the time. And I did have saline at the time, and I noticed they were drooping, they had shifted a little bit, and I had a lot of excess skin. So at that time, I had a breast lift, and um, they went in and removed a lot of the excess skin, and at that time, put in a little more fuller implant. That was then. Now she's closer to where she was before she got the implants. Pretty small. Small and perky is what they're looking for. Dr. Mark Schusterman is a plastic surgeon in Houston, and he says many of his patients want smaller breasts. Well, I think most women are going for a more natural look, but a lot of women are coming back in after they've had their implants for several years and wanting to go smaller. Some women are becoming increasingly focused on fitness and being comfortable. Others, he says, are tired of follow-up procedures from their implants. But it's more of a physical feeling. It's more of feeling, um, you know, that they're just heavy and they're in the way and they're tired of them. And uh, it seemed like a good idea when they're young, but as they get older, it's their their lives change and their perspective changes, and uh, they want to have uh, more. They're more into comfort than they are into uh, the way they look. And Natalie is enjoying her smaller look. I'm very athletic. We spend a lot of time outdoors um, doing a lot of, you know, athletic stuff, golfing, fishing, weight training. I'm much more comfortable. Not to mention I'm much more comfortable carrying my children around, <laughs> carrying my baby around too. My back doesn't hurt. So it's been a, it's been a really, really good positive change. And Dr. Schusterman says older implants can also make mammograms more difficult to read, especially if the implant is not underneath the muscle. And he believes that that could also prompt women who are in their 40s and 50s to begin removing their implants or get a newer version of those implants. Tom? All right. Beth, thanks.